reason that caravans have dropped quite significantly is that this is where we're going to see some dealers going bust. So it's that time, uh, market update time. I've been going on about this for ages and we've not really had time to do a proper video. And we're going to have a look at what has changed over the last 12 months, what the market is doing now, and some big uncertainties that are around the corner. So first up is our Coachman Arcadia 2020. This is currently on at 21495. Now, 12 months ago, um, this would have been nearly £2,000 more expensive. So just in the, in, the, in the short time of sort of 12 months, I know it's not a short time, but in the caravan world, it is. Um, we've dropped quite significantly about, about £2,000. No, that was not normal. No. Um, so I'm looking here when we do our prices, that sort of what the retail price is now and then what the retail price was about 12 months ago. And you're going to notice some big drops from what prices were 12 months ago. Um, we said this last about July, that we'd had the first real big drop in the prices. And we, uh, we were sort of saying, it's, I think it's a little bit early, but I understand why we're starting to get the drop in the prices. But what has happened since then is that prices have just continued to tumble. So again, 13,995. This um, 12 months ago would have been nearly 16,000. So about 15,995. Let's have a look in um, and see what has happened. And again, it's mainly down to a bit of a drop in... Um, demand has dropped slightly, um, but it's not dropped as much as what the prices are dropping. So I think the real reason that caravans have dropped quite significantly is that there's been more new available and there's actually been a bit of a, a, a glut of new out there. So dealers had struggled over the sort of last 12 months with the new models and that has then obviously given more discounts on the newer caravans which has then dropped the used prices down. Which actually is good news. Um, now it gives that sort of thinking of a bit of uncertainty because obviously if you're thinking about buying then it might be that you're sort of thinking oh well I don't really want to buy now because what happens if prices keep dropping and um, prices keep coming down. Now on Friday um, we I don't know whether it was this Friday or last for the previous Friday we'd had a guy come in that had been looking at a used caravan from another dealership and they'd basically turn around and said if you don't buy it now give it another month or two and that that's going to be more expensive now is the time to buy and um, a load of crap um, point blankly a load of rubbish prices are not going to go up um, we're not going to see price rises this year now um, and it was really only just because of covid yes you can sometimes get a little bit more of a deal over the winter because it's a bit quieter and dealers are sort of going right yeah we want to want to want to move stuff we want to keep things turning over but definitely prices aren't going to carry on continuing like they did um, again this one, uh, 2018 Bailey Unicorn Seville, it's now 18,000. 12 months ago, this would have been about 21,000 pounds. So uh, another fairly good drop, about 3,000 pounds on, on this particular model. And that is what we're seeing as we go for that slightly newer caravan on the slightly less desirable model. So some of your fixed beds, island beds at the back, etc., haven't dropped quite as badly. Um, as some of the sort of newer, more expensive two berths and less desirable layouts, but they've still they've still dropped across the board. Every there's not a, there's not any caravans that are out there that haven't dropped. And as I said, it actually really started in about July last year, where we saw a big, significant drop. But how hard is that for dealers when they're paid prices based on what it was 12 months ago and haven't sold? So this is where 
we're going to see some dealers going bust. Now we did, uh, or we've got an NAC video coming out and we've got some really, really important information on that if you're thinking about buying a new caravan or motorhome from the NEC. But funnily enough, um, some people are sort of going, oh, it's the economy, uh, people haven't got the money, that's why the caravan prices have, have dropped over the last 12 months. But it's not. Um, the if you have a look at the motorhome side, which are more expensive, it's a slightly different market, but again, it's still been families that have been coming in and buying motorhomes as well. But the motorhome prices have stayed. They've dropped very, very slightly, but nothing like the, the caravan prices. And the main thing is, is that new side of it. They've struggled on the newer caravans. They've had to discount the newer caravans a bit more. So it just has a knock on effect, exactly the same as when prices were going up. The new caravan prices were going up, 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 up and the used models followed. So again, it just does exactly the same. The new ones have gone slower. People aren't buying the new ones as much now. Um, they're giving bigger discounts on the new ones. Manufacturers are having to give discounts on the new ones. So it just drops the second-hand market. Now, the good news is in January, we, f we saw the first sort of plateau out on the drop in the used caravans. Um, that we'd see, seen since sort of July. So um, over the, the last sort of 12 months, as I say, we'd seen big, big heavy drops. January is the first book value that's actually come back into a normal market condition. So what we saw pre-COVID. Now there's a couple of reasons for that. I think we we needed a bit of a sort of a level out and a, a, an alteration within the market um, and that is going to continue which is why I'd sort of said before about if you're thinking about buying a caravan um, and you're sort of being bullied into a bit oh, if, you, if you don't buy this now at this price they're going to go because coming into the summer um, prices are sort of leveling out now we're not really going to say well we're not going to see any price increases I don't know that we're really going to see a major drop now. I think prices have just come back to that sort of £200 every quarter. Um, so over a year, we'll sort of probably lose about £800 to £1,000, which is completely normal. But we w we're not going to see that sort of two, £3,000 pound drop. So it's just a return back to our normal market conditions, how it used to be. Um, it's how it's always been. As the day started, uh, the, the prices have always sort of um, come down just nice and gradually. We see the new ones come out and we see that little bit of a, a filter through then into the market. And that is what we're turning back into. So we're not sort of turning into a big price crash. Um, we're just turning back into a normal market. But we have seen that dramatic drop in the prices over this last 12 months which as i say unfortunately it's pretty much it's pretty much on the cards that there's going to be some fairly biggish dealers disappearing over the next probably six months um, so if you start seeing caravan dealers and motor home dealers going bust over the next six months it's it's not going to be sort of a big surprise it's it's i think what is going to happen that big price change sort of last year has had the effect unfortunately on a on a few different outlets out that are out there um and it's it's just going to happen and it's just going to become survival of the fittest so what have we learned well as i say we have seen a big price now there's a couple of issues with that because if you've got a caravan um already you then sort of you you might have looked out there last year and gone oh mine's worth this or had a price last year and all oh, mine's but it's going to have now dropped quite significantly but the good news is whatever that you're buying um reduced 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 whatever you that you're going to be buying has actually come down in price so the actual swap value so what it's going to cost you out of your pocket to change yeah it might not seem that your part exchange now is worth as much and you're not getting as much for it but what you're buying is going to be cheaper and the price that comes out of your pocket is about the same so there's not really going to be any difference if you've already got a caravan obviously great news if you've not got a caravan and you're looking to get into the market because you can now get a little bit more for your money um, 
So it might be that you can go a little bit newer, you can get a few more extras than what you wanted originally. So it's not, it's, it's, I, don't, I think we needed this sort of return back to a normal market, a healthy market, slight drop-ins in the prices and levelling out really. Uh, as I say, motorhomes, we might do a, we might do a motorhome update, um, but we've not seen anything like what we have on the caravans. So uh, hopefully, um, Oh, I suppose, how, how has the market been? Uh, that's something else that we need to look at, is that um, realistically last year, July, August, wasn't what it should have been. Um, it wasn't as busy as what it should have actually been, and we sort of saw a drop-off. But then the back end of the year, October, November, it actually picked up. So again, I think we're just moving back into that normal market. I said it 12 months ago, that we needed to, we, we were gonna see change, we we're gonna move back into a normal market, and it's definitely coming through now. And I think this year is gonna be our first year where we sort of get back to a sort of a proper a normal market there's no real major ups there's no real major downs we go up and down slightly and it's just fairly level all the way through and i think that's what we're going to see this year so hopefully you've enjoyed the video i've waffled on long enough now um so hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you've got anything to say drop it in the comments uh, and we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching i'm mark at the caravan place